This is the seventh meeting of criminal law. In our previous installment, we saw how confused criminal law doctrine had become before the model penal code came onto the scene. That confusion was particularly evident in the doctrine of mens rea. During the common law era, courts regularly insisted there could be no criminal liability without a guilty mind guiding the hand of the wrongdoer. When legislatures began to take over the task of creating criminal offenses, the statutes they wrote often neglected to specify the mens rea. Legislatures thus kicked it back to the courts to figure out what the legislature wanted. The legislators assumed that the courts would know what to do, but the courts believe their job is to do what the legislature intended. It seems as though the dog was chasing its own tail. The Prince case concerns a criminal statute enacted by Parliament in which culpability language was absent. The issue dividing the court was not whether to read culpability in, but rather where to read it in. Baron Bramwell, for the majority, said it need be read in only as to elements whose combination constitutes a moral wrong. Judge Brett, in dissent, said read it in only as to elements whose combination is already a criminal offense, typically a lesser included offense. Neither the Bramwell moral wrong approach nor the Brett lesser crime approach was satisfactory as a general principle. Enter the model penal code. The model penal code says, in the absence of express culpability language, read it in as to every material element, every one, and make it recklessness. In the absence of statutory direction to the contrary, the model penal code would require the prosecution to show recklessness as to each material element of an offense. This raises our next set of questions. What if culpability language is found in the statute? Now we must ask, what level of culpability is meant by the language the legislature uses, and to which material elements does it apply? The statute construed in the case of People v. Olson is an excellent example to illustrate how the model penal code works out an answer. The facts of Olson are intricate and the testimony was contested. We want to focus on only one of the charges, which is the focus on appeal. Also, for this exercise, let's assume we are in a model penal code jurisdiction. Let's read the statute carefully. Any person who shall willfully and lewdly commit any lascivious act upon a child under the age of 14 years with the intent of arousing, etc., shall be imprisoned for a term of years. Our better practice will be to go directly to the material element or elements in dispute. In Olson, as in Prince, Contention revolves around the age of the alleged victim element. There is no doubt that the victim was under the age of 14 at the time of the offense charged. The defendant, however, says he believed the victim was much older, and his counsel says, in effect, that it was error for the trial court not to charge the jury to acquit unless it found beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant did not believe his victim was yet 14. What culpability, if any, must the prosecution show as to this attendant circumstance? Do you see any culpability language? Well, willfully is a culpability term. What does willfully mean? The model penal code helpfully translates for us. The requirement of willfulness is satisfied by acting knowingly. The drafters of the model penal code would therefore recommend the following interpretation. Wherever we see the term willfully or willful, no matter how many else, we should substitute the word knowingly. 
there is culpability language, knowingly, what elements does it apply to? It surely applies to lascivious act, the conduct element. What about the adverb lewdly? Is every adverb a culpability word? No. Unlawfully is not, nor is lewdly. Lewdly is put there merely to emphasize that the forbidden conduct is a lascivious act. The real question is whether knowingly applies to the age of the victim element under 14 years. If it does, then indeed the jury should have been told to acquit if it doubted that Olson believed Sean the victim was under 14. Does it apply? The Model Penal Code provides, when the law defining an offense prescribes the kind of culpability, such provision shall apply to all the material elements. If there are culpability terms, they apply to all the material elements. In other words, under the Model Penal Code, the default is spread it. Have you already got culpability language in the statute? Then you spread it around to every material element. We will drill deeper into the Olson statute in our next video installment.